Good afternoon everyone. We are the second group and today we will be discussing about the causality and Mills method. I am Jolina Campoas and I will be sharing to you about cause and necessary and sufficient condition. First off, cause and effect is a relationship between actions or events in which at least one action or event is a direct result of the other. For example, we are willing to be vaccinated because we know that vaccination will protect us from COVID-19. We can see that the cause is that vaccination will protect people from COVID-19. That's why the effect to the people is that they are willing to be vaccinated. Next, we cook our meat and fish to make them edible. The cause is that the meat and fish will be edible if the people will cook it. So the effect to the people is that we cook our meat and fish. I know that we are all familiar with cause and effect, but today we are specifically talking about cause and it is used to describe something that has specific outcome as a result. O sa Tagalog, ito ay sanhi na tumutukoy sa pinagmulan o dahilan ng isang pangyayari. Kagaya na lamang ng halimbawa natin kanina, nagpapabakuna ang mga tao dahil alam nila na ito ay proprotekta sa kanila. Pangalawa, niluluto ng mga tao ang ista at karne upang ito'y makain nila. This is the meaning of cause when we use it in ordinary English. However, a cause is ambiguous or open to more interpretation. For example, sprinkling water on the flowers will cause them to grow. So kapag sinabi nating bubunga o lalaki ang isang bulaklak dahil ito'y ating dinidiligan, Hindi ibig sabihin na ang pagdidilig lamang ang kailangan ng bulaklak upang ito'y bumunga. Ngunit, ang pagdidilig ay isa lamang sa mga kailangan ng isang bulaklak upang bumunga. Marami pa itong kailangan, katulad na nga lamang ng sikat ng araw at magandang lupa. Next, going for a swim on a hot summer day will cause us to cool off. Sa tag-init, maraming tao ang nagsasabing gusto nilang pumunta sa beach o sa pool upang lumamig ang kanilang katawan. Ibig sabihin, sapat na ang pagsiswimming upang lumamig ang kanilang katawan. Ngunit alam naman nating marami pang paraan upang lumamig ang ating katawan katulad na lamang ng pagligo ng malamig na tubig o pumunta sa isang silid na may aircon. As we can see on the examples, the causes are ambiguous or open to more interpretations. So, to clear up this ambiguity affecting the meaning of cause, adopting the language of necessary and sufficient conditions is useful. The following conditions are the kinds of cause. First is the necessary condition which means required or mandatory. For example, having three sides is necessary for being a triangle. Ibig sabihin, Ang tatsulok ay nangangailangan ng tatlong sulok upang ito'y matawag na tatsulok. So in order for us to call a thing or a shape that is triangle, it is necessary or it is required to have three sides. When we say that the presence of clouds is a cause of rain, we mean cause in the sense of necessary condition. Ang ibig sabihin nito ay kung walang ulap ay walang ulan. Ngunit alam nating hindi lamang ang ulap ang kailangan upang magkaroon ng ulan. We have required or necessary conditions in order for us to cause a rain, such as clouds, certain combinations of pressure and temperature. So in necessary condition, it prevents a certain phenomenon from happening. One example is that the presence of clouds is a cause of rain. Therefore, Rain is prevented by having no presence of clouds. Sufficient condition, that means enough or adequate. For example, being a triangle is sufficient for having three sides. Ibig sabihin, kung nangangailangan ka ng isang bagay na may tatlong sulok, ang tatsulok ay sapat na sa iyong pangangailangan. Next is when we say that electrocution is a cause of death, we mean cause in the sense of sufficient condition. Ibig sabihin, ang pagkakakuryente ay sapat na upang mamatay ang isang tao. Ngunit alam naman nating marami pang paraan upang magawa ito, katulad na lamang ng poisoning, drowning, and shooting. 
in sufficient condition, we can say that it produces a certain phenomenon from happening. For example, electrocution is the cause of death, therefore, death is produced by electrocution. Lastly is the combination of necessary and sufficient condition, where all the necessary condition are present and at least one sufficient condition is present. An example is lighting a match. In order for us to ignite a match, we have necessary conditions which are heat and oxygen. And we have one sufficient condition which is to combine these two necessary conditions, which is striking the match in the presence of oxygen to ignite it. Ayan, so let's further understand po the discussion through these simple examples using the necessary versus sufficient. Ayan, here's an example. Being a mammal is sufficient condition of being a human. Ano kaya sa tingin nyo? Is this true or false? Yes, it is false. Uh, what makes it false? Uh, sabi niya, being a mammal is a sufficient condition. Ang pagiging mammal daw is enough para maging tao. Which is false kasi kung hindi naman lahat ng mammal is tao, we also have the, the different animals. So, the, the statement is false. Next, pansinin po natin, being a human is a necessary condition of being a mammal. Uh, yung example natin kanina is, yung ginamit niyang word is sufficient. And ngayon naman is, being a human is a necessary condition of being a mammal. Ano kaya sa tingin nyo? Is this true or false? Yes, false po pa rin siya kasi ang pagiging tao daw ay kailangan para maging mamal ka. Kailangan ba na tao ka para matawag kang mamal? Siyempre hindi. Yung mga animals, mamal din sila. Mm, yung mga animals, hindi nila kailangan maging tao para maging mamal. Mm, sana naintindihan po natin. Next, same statement. Being a human is sufficient condition of being a mamal. Is this true or false? Yes, true po siya. As sabi niya, uh, being a human daw is enough para uh, matawag kang mamal. Totoo siya, kung tao ka nga naman, matatawag kang mamal. So, it is true po. Next, we have a another example. Electrocution is a sufficient condition for that. True or false po? Yes, it is true. Totoo nga naman na kapag nakoryente tayo, uh, it is enough para mamatay tayo or pwede na yon na maging dahilan ng pagkamatay ng isang tao. Next statement, electrocution is necessary for death. Ano kayang sagot natin dito? Yes, it is false. Bakit naging false siya? Kasi ang sabi niya, sabi niya, it is necessary for death. Eventually, hindi naman kailangan na makuryente ang isang tao para mamatay siya. Uh, there are many ways uh, para mamatay ang tao. E, merong disease or, or any accident. So, hindi necessary na kailangan makuryente ang isang tao para mamatay. Next, let's move on to the sufficient but not necessary. We have example here. Boiling potatoes in water is sufficient in cooking them, which is true, but not necessary. Ang pagboboil ng water is sufficient na yun para uh, masabi natin na naluto yung patatas. But eventually, hindi siya necessary na iboboil lang siya kasi there are many methods uh, para maluto yung patatas. Uh, we can fry it, we can bake it, and we can grill it. So, he, this is the example of sufficient siya, but not necessary. Okay, uh, naiintindihan po ba natin? Okay, next, here is a statement for necessary and sufficient. Let me read it for you. Getting all the correct answers in the test is necessary to have a perfect score. Getting all the answer correct is also sufficient condition for getting a perfect score. Necessary siya and sufficient siya kasi there is no other way para masabi nating perfect score ka kung hindi mo nakuha yung correct answer. So, let's summarize the sufficient and necessary condition. When we say that A is the necessary condition for B, we are saying that could be 
not have come about if it were not for the existence of A. In other words, you must have A in order to get B. However, just because A is necessary for B does not mean that if you have A, then you must have B. Being a female is a blank condition for being pregnant. If you are female, then you are pregnant. True or false? Diba? False. If you are pregnant, then you are female. Diba? True. So, it is a necessary Being a female is a necessary condition for being pregnant because in if part is a sufficient condition, then part is necessary condition. Next example, looking at through microscope is blank condition for seeing a live bacterium. It is a necessary because Kailangan, di ba, natin ng microscope para makakita tayo ng live, live bacterium. Impossible naman kapag makakita, makakakita tayo ng live bacterium kung hindi tayo gagamit ng microscope. A is the sufficient condition for B. We are saying that A is all you need to get B. However, simply because A is a sufficient for B, That does not mean the possibility that other things might also be able to bring out about B. A in itself have the ability to bring about B. However, its absence does not give us an ability to prevent B. For example, getting an A is blank condition for passing the class. It is a sufficient. Sufficient kasi, hindi naman kailangang... Makakuha ka ng A grade para makapasa ka sa class. Um, pwede ka namang makakuha at least C grade and above to pass the class. Drinking a bottle of vodka in hour is a condition of Mary being drunk. It is still sufficient. Kahit tanggalin mo yung vodka sa universe, Malalasing pa rin naman si Mary because maraming iba't ibang klase ng mga alak na pwedeng pagkalasingan ni Mary. Like tequila, gin, ganun. A is not necessary condition for B where A is absent when B is present. Oil is blank for cooking. ba diba? Oil is not necessary condition for cooking because hindi naman... Hindi naman lahat sa pagluluto ay kailangan ng oil. Kail- gaya ng sa pagbibig, air frying, ganun. Finishing in the first place, blank, for the racers to be in the podium. Finishing in the first place is not necessary condition for the racers to be in the podium. Kasi, hindi naman kailangan na maka first place ka para makapunta ka sa podium. Pwede naman kahit Nahuli ka sa racing, makakapunta ka pa rin sa podium. A is not sufficient condition for B, where A is present when B is absent. Example, having a married brother is blank to be an aunt. It is a not sufficient. Kasi hindi naman automatic na kapag nag-asawa yung brother mo is magiging aunt ka na. Next example, para mas maintindihan natin. Having a ticket in the lottery is blank to winning the lottery. ba? Diba? It's not a sufficient condition. Having a ticket in the lottery is not a sufficient condition to winning the lottery. Because may pos- possibility na kahit may ticket ka, hindi ka mananalo sa lottery. Kaya it's not sufficient condition. Ganun lang po. Thank you for listening.